little paper worms. This is your friend Paper Nerd. I am coming to you with a book today, which is a small book, a short book. It is called Comfort Me with Apples by Catherine M. Valente or Valenti. Don't know how to pronounce pronounce the last name there. And this was a book which first absolutely confused me and then in the end really really made me mad why does it make me mad because i am a christian and i am reading the bible and i am pretty sure what was written in the end part of this book has nothing to do with Christianity, has nothing to do with God and nothing to do with the Bible because if the author would have read the Bible they would have known that yeah that is BS the end of this but then on the other hand uh, I do um, respect authors and I do respect that they have maybe something different going on there something artsy fartsy in their brain so let's just leave it at that just because I'm a Christian and it doesn't mean that everybody else has to be one and to think that way so that was the warning up front now the confusion started with the book and that's the confusion i'm not talking about the the bad stuff which turned me off i am st starting from the beginning of this book so i was reading the first pages and i was absolutely confused because i did not know if this was a horror novel was this a science fiction novel novel was this a somewhat of a fantasy novel? Um, here is where it constantly confused me. First I thought, are we reading about something like the Stepford Wives, a perfect community, an HOA um, with strict rules, um, a little piece of suburb where a uh, suburb where everything is perfect then i was thinking hold on okay so it might not be a stepford case here uh does it have to do with uh artificial intelligence is it more like a sci-fi like a really strong sci-fi thing uh, then i was thinking well is this going the way of more fantasy or you know like uh, like really old-fashioned stuff i didn't know if the story was supposed to be in the 50s they were all so nice to each other they were sometimes i i had this leave it to beaver vibe with this whole story and then well this is how it goes throughout the store story like the wives are perfect and they are doing everything for their husbands that's why i thought stepford right but in 50s and uh, you know but uh, let's go a little bit further towards the end now towards the end we have biblical references and all of a sudden the bible is rewritten in something totally different uh, Bible scenery is written there but it's it's not in the Bible okay it's like somebody took the Genesis the first chapters of Genesis and twisted and turned it totally around and uh, said well you know what there was a story before the bible if there was a story before the bible why is it not in the bible so again i'm a christian uh, i don't apologize for being a christian but i apologize if that is um you know my way of thinking or my way of believing if that is offending anybody because i am going like deeply uh, into um, attack towards the arts or the freedom of art so anyways let's not discuss it more um, 
the well the end of this book just really disgusted me um, that's all I can say I'm talking about me myself and I so you might feel different I'm not telling you what to feel or what to think you make up your own uh, opinion of this uh, please leave your message underneath this video again this book I'm reviewing here is Comfort Me with Apples uh, by Catherine M. Valenti or Valente. Um, from my I gave it three stars because the language was very beautiful and poetic and I think that's what felt me uh, felt that I was betrayed by this poetic language and then we have this sort of crap at the end um, and that wasn't even horror um, or anything in that. Anyways, so again, I am a Christian. I might see it a different way. If you are a Christian, I would absolutely not, not recommend this book by any means. You don't have to read this. It is very disturbing. It is very disgusting. Now, if you're not of the Christian belief, go ahead and read it. Okay, well, I hope that the next review I have for you will be a little bit better. I see you some other time. Goodbye.